Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's wedding budget spreadsheet. Up top here, you can enter your wedding date. And over here, you can enter the bride and groom names. Up top here are the grand totals. And these total all of the subcategory items below. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to set a budget amount for each of your subcategories. And what that will allow you to do up here at the grand total is see what your overall estimate will be for your wedding. And you can make adjustments to either bring down your overall budget or, or increase it depending on how much you want to spend. Next to that are your actual costs. So you can enter those as they come in. In the next two columns, you can keep track of payments towards your actual costs. The first one is for deposits paid and the second one is for additional payments made. And this final column here, balance due, allows you to keep track of that. And that's calculated as your actual cost minus your deposit paid and minus the additional paid. You can also, there's also a notes column here for additional notes you would like to add. So to enter a subcategory item, let's just add another one here under stationary. So let's say that we also had menu cards and we budgeted a hundred for those so the actual cost came in at a hundred also let's say so you can, so you can see now there's a balance due of a hundred and there's also a note that pops up over here there's a remaining balance due below so in this particular item there was no deposit required and let's go ahead and make that final payment that's due of a hundred dollars you can see now that the balance due is zero and that note is also gone. So you can enter other additional main categories here like bride and all the subcategory items related to that. Okay, so that's a basic overview of Georgia's wedding budget spreadsheet.